Um, hi everyone. So ChatGPT just launched Codex extension, IDE for IDE in VS Code and Cursor, and it's simple to install. It's much more simpler to install than Code Cloud Code. So if you're familiar with Cloud Code, this should even be simpler. So let's come to VS Code right now, and you want to go to extension, right? Uh, you want to come here, you want to search for Codex. So let's just search for Codex. You're going to see different types. I think it's like four, five, six right now. We want to look for the one that has this open AI verified, uh, Matt, and you want to come to install it. You're going to get more information around here. It's going to ask you, it's going to show you all things you could do with here. So it's saying you could pair, pair with Codex as your AI assistant programmer in your IDE. Uh, and also you would need a subscription to sign up. So either the plus pro team, edu or enterprise subscription is fine. So once you install it, you're going to see the logo on this right hand side. You can see it next to my cloud code logo. And you're also going to see it on the left hand side. Yeah. So all you have to do is just click on it. And I'm going to see the screen that says sign up with ChatGPT. Click on sign up with ChatGPT. And it's going to ask me to sign in on my Chrome. So it's asking to sign in on my Chrome right now. So I just need to put my email address and also my one time password from my authenticator. So I'm going to show you it one. And voila, I should be in. Yeah. So it's live now in my IDE, VS Code IDE. And it's just saying, it's just explaining the features to you. Codex, navigate, edit, run, co run commands, and execute tests directly in your repo, powered by your ChatGPT account. Next. Hands off to Codex in the cloud. So if you have like bigger tasks to undo, Codex can still work in the cloud and move faster. So turn to do's into Codex stacks. Write a to do comment and convert it into a Codex stacks with a single key. So if you're familiar with Code Code, think the same thing. Codex can make mistakes. Review your code. Review this code. Review the code he writes and command is run. So that's it. Uh, you can import your file and just start working in, start using Codex in VS Code ID. Now let's move to Cursor. So let me switch. And 